Welcome to Walnut Park Play Area. My name is Ryan Woods. I have the pleasure of serving as the Parks Commissioner for the City of Boston, overseeing our 332 parks throughout the city, as well as our cemeteries, our golf courses, and our animal control shelter. And we are so excited to be here on what may be a dreary day, but um, to cheer everybody up at a new universally accessible play area here in the city of Boston, and more importantly in Roxbury. One that kids of all abilities, so these play features that kids of all abilities can engage and play hand in hand together. This was part of the mayor's $1.2 million renovation from her capital budget, and it would not have happened without a, a team that worked hand in hand on this. So I wanna thank from the Parks Department, our project manager, Amy Linnae, who has worked on this uh, project to get it through the finish line. Our design team, Megan Lizza here from CBA, uh, Landscape Architects, thank you for the design work on this, as well as Mountain View Landscapes who helped uh, construct this park. This was designed in const uh, with Crawford Street play area right down the road, which is now uh, under construction. We tried to delay it a little so we wouldn't have both play areas off at the um, same time. So this has our new water play station, shade pavilion, painted concrete, 11 new trees, which is, let's give a round of applause, 11 new trees, it's very big for us, adding trees wherever we can throughout the city. And that is a theme that we heard from the community. So you can see the shade structures over the picnic grove, uh, water bottle filling stations, a uh, play, water play area, all cooling elements, especially in this hot uh, temperatures with climate change. Um, we are so lucky in the city of Boston to have a champion leading us, someone that is in the parks every day with her kids, whether it's playing sports or checking out water features, playground slides, etc. It's my pleasure to introduce the mayor of the city of Boston, Mayor Michelle Wu. Hi everyone, thanks for coming out and um, we really are just so grateful to be in a, a beautiful new space in the city. Thank you to Commissioner Woods and his entire team for all the work that they're doing. As you can see, uh, we are not going to just rest on our uh, laurels and, and kind of be satisfied with how things have been. We want to make sure that as the summers get hotter, as kids need spaces to play, that we're giving them the very best and um, the installation of all the new features, the water features, shade, and making sure people can use this even on hot, hot days as, as we're experiencing is really, really important. And so thank you to all the young people from the Shelburne and from all the neighborhood who are here and um, who will tell us what what works best in the park and, and what we need to keep improving. Um, we want to make sure that every space in the city you feel like you have what you need, you have what you want, and um, we want to keep making improvements like this everywhere. I see members of the Garrison Trotter Neighborhood Association who've been with us all day <laughs> announcing different things in the neighborhood. So thank you to everyone who's uh, a leader in this area and, and fighting for and advocating for what our communities need. We have members of our neighborhood trauma team who are here as well, who do great work 24 hours a day. Uh, thank you for your service and we are better together. And then we're also joined here today by some of our recruits. Um, thank you so much to our Boston police, our incoming um, soon to be new officers who will help make sure that our community members are as connected as possible to public safety as well. Um, I am uh, so ready for school to start back up again. <laughs> it's been a long summer with, with two boys, and we have been to just about every park in the city. As we see, um, again, the, the need over the summer for play spaces, for water features, it's been really exciting to have a parks department that is so focused on pushing for new investments and um, stepping up to give our young people and their families exactly what they deserve. So thank you to everyone who's been involved in the renovation and, and um, building of this park. It's going to be another beloved space, and we look forward to coming back for lots and lots of special events. Do you want to say? Okay. So um, Emma said she would say something. I, I learned I heard, learned a little bit about the, the spinny, climby thing that I'm going to have to try out. I, there's also a, a spinny bucket thing over there. <laughs> That's really cool. But um, Emma is going, is just newly started the second grade, it lives in the area, and um, will tell us a little bit about this park. I like this park because um, it's really fun to play with, um, to, to be at after school. And yeah, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Great. Um, any questions? Good. We can do off topic separately if. Oh, 
Okay, well, does anyone want to offer some thoughts on that? The, the question uh, from Charmin was, what does this mean for the neighborhood to have this here versus what it was like before? Anyone want to say anything on it? Maybe Miss Harris or Diane? <laughs> Miss Harris, come on up. <laughs> She's bashful. She says, Miss Harris. <laughs> <laughs> or Mike, do you want to offer any thoughts? Okay. Well, I will just say um, every project that the park, uh, that our parks department does is really built on the feedback that comes through the process of hearing what people need. And so we always hope to uh, deliver something that is fun and beautiful and exciting, but it, it, it only works if it really reflects what people had said along the way that they wanted in, in each individual part of the city. So um, the the addition of more shade, the water feature, and some of the um, the updated materials, um, we hope, is going to be a, a place that will continue drawing families and, and particularly kids for a long time to come. Um, and there are so many exciting things happening in the area, lots of schools in the area, lots of um, investments that we're making in streets and, and other parts of community facilities. And so this is one part of it. What we about got a problem with the parkings around here. You need more of it or is it? We need residential parking. I see more um, handicap parking, speed bumps, they be flying through the, they, they fly through here 40, 50 miles an hour. We need a light in the park at night because it's so dark in here. You know, a lot of stuff. Good. We'll keep it coming. Uh, we were talking earlier this morning, we had an event at the Trotter School and we talked about how the traffic kind of flies down the, the roads in the whole area. So we know we need to make sure that um, we're slowing down traffic everywhere and thinking about it again as a, a whole neighborhood and not just one street at a time. But parking, let's figure out on, on resident parking what would work. All right, thank you. Thank you. Anything else? OK, let's cut the ribbon. Okay. Everybody, we'll count first and then we'll count. Should we count from five? Who knows how to count backwards from five? Anybody? OK, good. Five, four, three, two. Wow!